Hello everyone! In this video we are going to do a very simple math problem and you are going to be surprised that many of you are actually going to get this wrong. So I don't want you to use your calculator right here. So here is a problem. We have 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3. So as you can see no squares, no cubes, no like a hard operations right here. We have only subtraction and multiplication. Okay, of course most of you out there are like, yes I can handle this, I can handle this problem, this is basic subtraction, basic multiplication and I learned this stuff at school and I can easily solve it. But I suggest you to choose one correct option. What do you think is the correct option to this problem? So go ahead and put your answer down in the comment section and I'm going to show you a correct answer in like one minute and we will check our answer in the end of the video. I swear it will be really interesting. Okay, so let's start with the main obvious mistake right here. So a lot of students say, okay, 3 minus 3 times 3, I rewrite this problem right here, 3 minus 3. Okay, a lot of students think, okay, 3 minus 3, which is really great to subtract because we have 0 and they, okay, 3 minus 3, this is equal to 0, 0 times 0, this is equal to 0. So a lot of students want to solve it in an easy way. They say, okay, this is 0, right here 0, and we'll have 0. But this is a wrong order of operation. Because obviously, whatever order you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, yeah? So if you're talking about an order, this is the main popular order in the world, this is PMDMC order, yeah? So let's look at this order and let's solve it step by step according to this order of operation. So the first step, this is from the top to the bottom, if you're talking about uh, order of operation, the first step is parentheses. Are there any parentheses right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have parentheses, we don't have like brackets right here, so which is really great, we just skip this first part. Then we have exponents. So do we have any other any exponent as a squares, cubes right here, fourth power, tenth power? No, I don't see any of those, yeah? So we just skip these two part. Then we have multiplication division part and I will write this problem once more right here, 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3. If we're talking about multiplication division part, Yes, we have this multiplication sign right here. We don't have any division sign, so we have, but we have multiplication and we are looking at this as a group, yeah? So right here we have multiplication, so we need to start with this step. So 3 times 3 equal to 9, yeah? And we still have this expression in the, in the beginning and in the end, yeah? We have minus 3 and right here we have 3 and minus 9, yeah? So we have subtraction, we don't have addition, we have subtraction, this is like one group, this is not like addition is before subtraction. If you're talking about order operation, this is from left to right. This is classic pre-algebra concept. This is basic algebra right here. So we have 3 minus 9 minus 3. If you know a little bit about, a little bit about math, you can easily cancel this 3 and this minus 3. Yeah. So the answer is minus 9. So according to this PMDMC order, the correct answer is minus, minus 9. This is option C. And I want to write this as an answer right here. So according to PMDMC, our answer is option C, minus 9. But then I go back right here and I ask a student, okay, what do we need to do with this expression to get this 0? And they think, okay, maybe we need to put maybe exponent, maybe division, maybe parentheses right here. But then I, I, I ask them, okay, if you put parentheses, how can we get this 0? And they say, okay, we need to put right here parentheses. We start with this zero, which is really great. And we need to put right here parentheses. We need to start with the zero, so which is really great. So if you're talking about really tricky moment, you can easily put parentheses right here and you will get this zero. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses. So zero is incorrect answer. This is a mean obvious mistake and a lot of students do this, but in our case, this is absolutely incorrect. And we'll have option, option C. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, okay? Now if you need to learn basic math, interesting brain test, IQ question, right? If you're struggling with, with basic math or like pre-algebra concept, you can easily subscribe to my channel. I, I, I try to help everyone and I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.